How about some good news? February 26th, 2021, we have good news in regards to Vody Bakum and how he is doing with the procedure that he had and um, the outlook for his future. I'm going to talk about that in this video as well as talk about Pastor James Coates and I have his address where he's being held. I'm going to share that with you so that you can send him a word of encouragement. But first, Vody Malcolm update. We thank God for a very successful surgery procedure yesterday. Everything went perfectly, and Lord willing, I should make a full recovery. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Praise the Lord. This is huge. Great encouragement. These great things to hear here. They suspect that the heart failure was induced by an arrhythmia. Actually, two. This is good news because the procedure I underwent is designed to eliminate such arrhythmias. This allowing my heart to recover and remodel. In other words, I am expected to stay. I am not expected to stay on the heart failure track, which ultimately leads to transplant, but regain full heart health. Of course, time will tell if they fixed it all, and I will be monitored closely for the next few months. But we are hopeful. Awesome. Praise the Lord, Vody Balk. Malcolm doing well, and the financial update for his GoFundMe page here, uh, 1389000 Can we refresh that? Let me refresh that real quick. 389,900 seven minutes ago people gave. So people are still given if you want to if you want to help him out with his finances, uh, you can still do that. The GoFundMe is still open, but praise the Lord for that. So excited, so excited. I know so many of us, so many of you as well as me, I have been greatly impacted by um Vody's ministry. So <laughs> He's going to be around for a long time, folks. Praise the Lord. So also, I'm going to share with you uh, uh, an, an address for Pastor Coates. But also, I want to remind you to subscribe to my newsletter. Uh, that's go to BibleThumpingWingnet.com. Link in the description uh, of this video for everything that I'm talking about in this video, including um, this. Go to that and uh, subscribe You'll get information about uh, giveaways, and uh, you'll get information once a month, maybe twice at the most, about the content that I'm creating here. And uh, please subscribe, because if I get booted off this platform, that's the only way I'm going to be able to share my content with you. Also, please consider supporting me by clicking on that button right there. Support our ministry. You can send a check. You can become a patron or you can give via PayPal. Thanks so much for all of you who uh, watch and have subscribed. And if you appreciate these updates, I'd love to do it full time. And the only thing that's going to make that happen is um, support, financial support. So consider that if you would. Pastor James Coates in prison for preaching the word of God. He, he's doing exactly what John MacArthur is doing. Uh, church is open. The, the the city and the country says, hey, you need to have social distancing and all this other stuff. And he's like, nope, sorry, uh, we need to have church. And uh, they're not buying into uh, the the narrative that, you know, you have to wear a mask all the time. And and, uh, you know, he his wife explained, uh, as I pointed out in the last video, um, their concept of and why it is so important to them that they open they worship openly and that they have physical contact and covid is not nearly as bad in edmonton canada as it is um in the united states and other parts of the world so uh, but he's in prison and i heard i actually heard somebody say he's not allowed visitors 
and uh, I don't know if it's true or not. People comment below if, if you know, if you have additional information. If you have additional information, man, email me. Matter of fact, the address I'm about to put on the screen here uh, is because somebody emailed it to me. Um, and make sure you email <laughs> email me. Don't don't send me stuff. Um, email me at BibleThumpingWingna at gmail.com. Don't go to Facebook and send the Facebook account um, a, a message. I got news about Paul Washer having COVID and John MacArthur, um, an update on him where he was supposed to speak. This was like months, a month and a half ago. And I would have liked to share that with you so that you could pray and, all, and, and be oh, made aware of those things. But um, I didn't see it for almost a month. So email me if you have information you want me to share with people like this, okay? Here's Pastor Coates' uh, address where he's being held. And uh, boy, listen, send him a note of encouragement today. What are you going to do today that's more important than encouraging a man of God who is uh, alone in prison? And tell him, tell him... Uh, the Bible thumping wingnut guy told you the <laughs> from from uh, the wingnuts. I don't know. Say whatever you want, but uh, I actually know that there are people who uh, go to this church that are uh, what you would call wingnuts. People who have uh, listened to the Bible thumping wingnut podcast in the past. Great church, great church, um, Grace Life Church near Edmonton, Canada, and boy, let's encourage him. Let's encourage him. Send him a note of encouragement. I actually, somebody emailed me a uh, video. Um, let me put it in the, I'll put it in the link in the description uh, to a video of a man in Canada who's frustrated and he wants people to hear his message. Um, makes me think that I, I, I might want to have a, a series of videos where I allow you, the audience, to kind of chime in, whether it's through a video or a, a phone message you could leave, something like that, like a montage of the, the viewers. I think that would be cool. What do you think? Comment below. Have a great weekend, okay? Praise the Lord. Vody Balcom is doing good, and uh, let's be an encouragement to Pastor James um, his court date is in May and Lord pray, pray that he would be released. Um, because, uh, we want him home. Pray for that whole situation. Pray for other churches to open as well. God bless. Have a great weekend. Send a note to pastor James. Praise the Lord for what's going on with Bodie's health. See ya.